KVPS and welcome to Kiribati Live for Tuesday the 2nd of May, the first episode of Term 2. My name is Sifan 60. And I'm Rayhan, also from 60. Today on the show, we will be talking about Anzac Day. We will see what's been going on in Year 3 with a year level share. And we have a new segment called Captain's Corner. But first, here is Mr Cunningham to let us know all the cool things that are happening in Term 2. Hi everybody and welcome back to Term 2. We're into week three already. At the uh, time has certainly gone fast. And I need to congratulate you. When I was on yard duty yesterday, at the end of lunch, I really commented to a grade six person who was walking past. I said, what can you notice? And she said, no rubbish. What a great thing that was too. The yard looks stunning yesterday. So let's make sure we keep up that and that you do eat in the eating area. Obviously now we don't need to wear hats outside. So uh, you can get out there without playing anywhere in the yard uh, without your hat now. Yesterday also, the grade, uh, all the team, the cross-country team, came back from their event. We had 50 people involved in that. And the, these, come, these people are now going on to the next event on Monday the 29th of May. The 9 and 10 year olds, Heidi Dre came first, Jackson Brown fourth, um, Cotham Aldalimi came eighth, the 11 year race was Natalie Nov came tenth, and Jonathan Ben came second in the 12-13. So we wish them all the best in the, in the next event. Ah, May is a busy month. Napland is coming up for the grade threes and fives in a few weeks' time. Mother's Day is on the 14th of May. And on Friday the 12th, we'll be doing some special things in the classroom where uh, Mum or your special friend will be invited up to that. A note will come home shortly about that. The Athletics Carnival for the threes to sixes is on the Wednesday the 17th of May. Always a fantastic day and I know everybody enjoys that. Inter-school sport for the uh, sixes has started. Year ones are going to Cold Creek. Year threes are going to the Shrine. The ICAST testing starts. And then in June, a couple of the major events in June, is the school disco coming up and the year five camp. So once again, a really exciting time and thank you to everybody for the way we started the term. It's been a great start and you just have a great day. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Cunningham. That was great. Yes, it sure will be a very busy term. Now, let's see what's happening around the school with a year level share. We sent Amisha and Araceli out to visit the grade threes. So here I'm with Nippon from 3D. So Nippon, what's your favorite subject in school? My favourite subject in school is maths. Oh, why do you like maths so much? Because I love working with numbers. Okay, thank you. And here I'm with Rowan from 3B. Rowan, what is your favourite subject in school? Maths. Why is your favourite subject maths? Because I get to learn new things and um, I do sometimes multiplication and division. Okay. Thank you. So here I'm with Sebastian from 3D and Navina from 3C. So Sebastian, what's your favourite subject in school? Um, writing. Why do you like writing so much? Because then I can learn how to do my drawing writing. Okay. So Navina, what's your favourite subject in school? I like doing big writes and cold writes. Why do you like doing them so much? Because it makes me learn how... You can do recounts and other sorts of writing. Thank you both for your time. So here I'm with Miss Dornan from 3C. So Miss Dornan, um, how, what are the grade threes learning in maths right now? Uh, for the first two weeks of this term, we're learning about place value, which is what we did earlier in the year. And then we're moving on to location and area. So um, were you excited when you found out that you were going to teach grade threes? I was very excited. Grade three is my most favourite year level. It's the one that I started off in when I first started teaching a long, long time ago. And I think it's always held a special place in my heart. So um, what, is, what do you think is different from teaching grade threes than other grades? Uh, the reason I like grade three and this why it's different, I think, is because it's the first time the grade um, threes have got to do lots of things. It's the first time they go on camp. It's the first time they've been to a senior, se senior assembly. It's the first time they've done the year level sports with um, the sports teachers. So it's just awesome. Thank you. Wow, those are very interesting topics and activities to learn about. 
Now, last Tuesday was Anzac Day, a time to commemorate Australian and New Zealand soldiers past and present for their service. Here are Tamila and Tiffany for a look at what Kubi got up to for it. Last Tuesday was Anzac Day, an important day on our calendar where the people take a moment to think about the servicemen and women that help to make this country safe. So, Amaya, why do you think we have Anzac Day? To, to remember the soldiers. Yep, and how do you think we commemorate Anzac Day? We make Anzac biscuits. Great, thank you for your time. Okay, Mala, what does Anzac stand for? Um, Australian and New Zealand Army Corps. Great answer, thank you for your time. About Anzac Day. So, Maharam, what do you think is a traditional way of commemorating Anzac Day? Um, standing still in the middle of silence. Great answer. And why do you think we have the last pose played before the minute of silence? Um, to represent and to show some respect for the soldiers that fought in the war. Great. Thanks for your time. What is a traditional way of commemorating Anzac Day? To make Anzac biscuits like the woman who made Anzac biscuits in the World War time. Great answer. Thank you for your time. The Great Fours had a visit from one of their students' grandparents that both served in the military. Hi, I'm here with Gary and Caleb to ask them a few questions about the Vietnam War. So, Gary, how was it like being away from your family for a very long time? It was very hard. Um, I wasn't married at the time, but it was very hard not seeing um, your own family and wondering what was going on because there was no communications at all. And Caleb, how does it feel to have a grandpa that fought in the Vietnam War? Um, I'm pretty I'm excited that he's been in the Vietnam War because um, cause he can show all about what it was like like today and I, I'm allowed to wear his medals and see all kinds of things. That's great. Thanks for your time. Hi, I'm here with Jan to ask her a few questions about how life was like in the Air Force. So, Jan, was your job hard being an equipment um, assistant? No, it wasn't. It was quite easy. We just filled out the orders. I did a lot of the paperwork to send things overseas and we often used to slip in a few extra bits in there for the troops. Okay, and Jen, what was your rank and what did you have to do in it? My rank was LACW, which was Leading Aircraft Woman. It was just under a corporal. Okay, thank you for your time, Jan. As any that are left for all, age shall not worry them. We finished the day with our annual Anzac assembly where the choir sang the last Anzac. And we had a minute of silence. Lest we forget. Thanks for that, guys. Anzac Day is very important. I hope that everyone in the school took some time to reflect. Now it's time for a new segment, Captain's Corner. The school captains have been working hard filming short videos about lots of things in the school. And we will bring them to you every so often on Kilby Live. Today's video is about behaviour during assembly. Enjoy! Corner. This episode we'll be talking about the behaviour at assemblies. It takes courage for people to speak at assemblies. However, it doesn't help when people are having their own conversations in the audience. We are asking for you, the audience, to listen and use your manners. That way assemblies can finish quicker and you are able to hear the information being presented. Listening to presenters means... Face the direction of the speakers presenting. To not to allow yourself to be distracted or not to be the distraction for others. Only person talking is the presenter out front. And remember, Kilbury Valley is a safe and happy school. Thanks for that, school captains. And now, time for the weather. Today will be 16 with a possible shower later. Tomorrow will be much the same. Thursday will be 17 and sunny. Friday, 20 and mostly fine. 
Saturday, 20th for late shower, and Sunday, possible shower and the top of 17. And Monday will be 16 and showers. Lastly, time for important dates. NAPLAN testing is on from next Tuesday the 9th to Thursday the 11th. We wish all the grade 3s and 5s the best of luck. And please, make sure you move around the school quietly during those days to not distract them. The Mother's Day stall is on the 11th of May, also in the hall. Make sure you bring some money along and get your mum something nice. The 12th is our Mother's Day celebrations. Mums can come to the school and do activities with the class. Talk to your teachers to find out what's happening and when in your classrooms. And our athletics camp will be happening on Wednesday the 17th of May. Get training! That's it for us. We hope you enjoyed the episode. And we hope you have a great week. Bye! Bye.